Hey there, this is Beth, and we are making Christmas cookies today. So, today's cookie is almond crunch cookies. I was looking through, we, I went through a bunch of um, paperback cookbooks, the kind you buy at the grocery store as you're checking out. And I came across Pillsbury Cookies, volume number two, of which we have two of mind you. Don't have volume one, just two volume twos. <laughs> and this had a star by it. Do I remember this cookie? No, I do not. And I think what probably happened, because it has toffee crunch things in it, which back in the 1980s was really hard to get a hold of. And that meant you had to buy um, a lot of like Heath bars or score bars to get, well, you know, the candy for the cookies, which was kind of a pain in the butt and a pain in the butt. Not very convenient. So I think that's what probably happened was someone made it once my mom and then no one ever made it again due to you know, easy do find toffee bits like today you just go to the grocery store and there they are there's the toffee bits so it makes it really easy to make them and so I thought you know I'm gonna retry this cookie recipe because why not so it does have almonds in it. No one has nut allergies in our family, so a lot of things during Christmas will have <clears throat> um, nuts in it. So yeah. It's also a new recipe, so I'm looking at the ingredients list more than I probably would be normally because I don't remember. And I also had to get more coffee, obviously, because, you know, coffee. But yeah, I was surprised at how good they actually turned out when it was all said and done. It was a really good cookie recipe. And you can see one of the easiest ways I find to make things is you get it all out and then as you use it, you put it away. And that makes it really easy so you don't get confused. One of the interesting things about this, this cookie recipe I found was that <clears throat> it had powdered sugar instead of granulated sugar, and it also had oil and butter. Not just one, you gotta have both. So that was a little bit interesting on that, but they have a really lovely texture. So this is a Pillsbury recipe. So if you Google Pillsbury, Texas, Pillsbury, Texas Almond Crunch Cookies, I'm sure you can find it somewhere on the internet. But yeah, first of the Christmas cookies this year. Trying something new, trying to bring in a few more new recipes because last, well, I didn't make anything last year because well, I was bed bound and sick, but um, I feel like the last couple of years I've made some really similar cookies and just felt like it was time for um, not similar cookies, you know. Just hits a point where you're like, need something different. <clears throat> you can see the camera in the, in the toaster oven. <laughs> How funny. That is too funny. The bottles up front we got at Costco really like them. So if you see them at Costco, they are very nice, especially when you have to go places and you want to bring some water. Um, they don't slosh as you're trying to drink them, which is really, really, really nice. <clears throat> I 
I hit a point where the mixer was no longer working very well. It was time to switch to a spoon. There's, but there's quite a bit of like almonds and toffee bits kind of stuff. I haven't even got to the toffee bits yet to mix in. <clears throat> you know, it just spoon sometimes works better. Sometimes even just your hands will work better depending on how your dough is. We're getting there, getting there. Um, this recipe did have a little note that you could chill them. And I ended up chilling mine for, I don't know, at least an hour. I can't remember when did. I went and did some other things. Mom and I went and found our Christmas tree. Why they chilled, so I didn't really pay attention to how long they remained in the refrigerator. But it felt like if I didn't chill them at this point, um, they were going to spread too much because that butter sometimes, and I haven't made these before, and they just felt really, really soft. And like um, chilling would be helpful. You can see my hat hair here. Um, yeah. I'm not like, oh my God, don't look at my head. Yeah. My hair is at a length where, because it's chilly out, I wear a hat a lot. And it just mess it just messes up the hair. And there is no getting it to normal without like wetting it down and blow drying it back into place. So these are rolled in sugar, and this is just a sanding sugar. Actually, sugar in the raw. If I would have been smart, I would have grabbed a colored sugar for the holidays, but I did not. So we just got normal sugar. And they're really tasty. And, and don't worry, I do not make you watch me make the whole batch of cookies into little balls and squish them down, roll them in sugar. No, I did not do that to you. I only make you watch three pans worth. These were really, really good. I was surprised. I wasn't super, well, yeah, I was surprised. They were just how much I like them. I thought I'd like them, but they were super yummy. And I would definitely make them again, just as a regular cookie time, not just a Christmas cookie. And they're fairly easy to make. And I was really happy because I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna have too much of that sugar in the raw. And I had about the perfect amount, which was just so, such a happy thing. I hate having to throw like large amounts of sugar away because you lose it all. But this time I got about the right amount and it was really happy. They're just a simple roll cookie. So they're really easy to make. They tell you to squish them down in a crisscross pattern. I just flattened them because that was easier. Off into the oven they go. Bake for, I found at 350 for 12 minutes. They say 12 to 18 minutes. 18 seems a really long time. Um, 12 seemed to work really nicely. 10 was not enough. You just got to sometimes start with 10 and work your way up to what's going to be there. And there they are, our finished product. They're super tasty. And I thought they turned out kind of cute for, you know, me not using colored sugar. Silly, silly me. Oh, yeah. I don't think mine were as crispy as the picture. We kind of like our cookies a little more on the chewy side for the most part. So yeah, there's first cookies I made this year.